I don't think I'm gonna be doing any flying today. Um, so I guess we'll just take the opportunity. Uh, let's talk about mounting then. So this is probably one of the questions that comes up the most often um, in the Facebook groups is uh, how do I mount my flight controller, my KISS flight controller, and uh, more specifically, should you soft mount your flight controller? Uh, if you're coming from the world of better flight, you're used to these little things, these little grommets that you insert into your flight controller um, and soft mounting the flight controller, reducing the vibrations that uh, make it to the gyroscope. Um, and will the quick answer to that question uh, in the world of KISS is no, you don't soft mount. Um, and I'll go into a little more detail on how uh, I have my stacks mounted on all of my quads. Uh, but generally speaking, there's going to be two um, approaches that are going to come up in the answers, um, one of which is uh, just to hard mount. So basically get you know a long screw uh, and mount everything uh, from top to bottom solid. Um, but my answer is um, sort of soft mount, I guess you could say. Uh, this is the solution that um, I know Mr. Steele uses on his quads. That's where I got the solution from. Uh, and it's also the answer that tends to come up uh, from, you know, the people in the groups who I, I trust their advice, I guess I could say. Um, so... I'm just going to be using this uh, old piece of carbon I have lying around and I didn't feel like um, undoing one of my ESCs in one of my quads. So I've got this uh, Holy Bro ESC, uh, but you know, it'll get the point across, right? Essentially, all you're going to need is, uh, well, first of all, screws for your stack. Uh, and what you're going to want is uh, eight millimeters about uh, above the bottom plate. So this is a two millimeter plate. And I've got here these 10 millimeter screws so that I have eight millimeters above the deck. Then after that, you're going to want some, um, well, I've got aluminum here, but, you know, steel works uh, good as well. So uh, just some regular old nylock nuts so that you can fasten your screws into place. After that, you're going to want these uh, rubber uh, dampening standoffs. You're going to need some of these uh, silicone um, or rubber O-rings. And you're going to want some uh, nylon, um, just regular old nylon nuts for the top of your stack. And now I'll go over with you how all of this comes together. So. Naturally, first things first is you're going to want to put your stack screws in. Let's get that done quick. Got your stack screw. You're going to use your nylock nuts to fasten those into place. Cue the uh, fast forward. All right, so now we've got our stack screws in place, as you can see here, uh, with our uh, nylock nuts. And now the next step is um, to put the rubber O-rings on top of these. Now, um, it's important to know that this is not uh, for soft mounting. Um, this is actually just to... Um, give uh, some room to your ESC, a little bit of kind of wiggle room, I guess you could say. Um, so in the case of a crash, you're not going to get as much flex on your board. It relieves the pressure, basically. Um, and uh, with the Flyduino 25 amp uh, ESC, uh, it's even strongly recommended that you file out the holes uh, in your ESC 
uh, to make them a bit wider so that you have a little bit more play there. And this is apparently one of the reasons why those ESCs in particular tend to catch fires. People are not giving them enough uh, wiggle room and in the crashes they stress the board. Um, and eventually that could lead to a short. Uh, so basically once you've got your O-rings in place, you can just go ahead and drop your ESC right on top. And next step, get your little rubber standoffs and you can use these to basically just fasten your ESC into place. And you're gonna see that you're, there's actually not much um, sticking out from your stack screws, um, but as long as it's, you know, poking through just a little bit, it'll be enough for you to catch the thread. And then as you screw in, you know, you've only got about three millimeters of play in these rubber of, uh, of thread inside these rubber standoffs. So you don't want to have too much of the screw sticking out or you won't be able to get all the way down. All right, so now we're secured in place. So there's not much wiggle to this, but there's gonna be enough play in the case of a crash, you won't stress the board. And well, naturally the last step is to take your nylon nuts. Put your FC into place. and just tighten all the way down. I'd say generally, honestly, it's enough to just, uh, you know, tighten this with your fingers. Um, I mean, since you're not uh, soft mounting with uh, grommets, you can't really over tighten it. So you, you know, if you really wanna be sure, you can go ahead and take your 5.5 uh, millimeter box and tighten them down all the way, but I mean, personally, I've never had any of these come loose uh, just by, you know, properly finger tightening. And there you go, there you have it. So, I mean, you know, as always, this is my opinion on how you should mount your stack, um, but this opinion is based on information from people who do know what they're talking about and who have the experience. And well, personally, my experience with this solution so far has been excellent. Uh, if you've seen any of my flight videos, you'll know that my quads uh, seem to fly pretty well. So take it for what it's worth, but this is according to me, at least how you should be mounting your KISS flight controllers. As always, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments and I'll try and get you all sorted out and otherwise happy flying.